I just wanted to start this off by saying thank you so much for all the love I have received for my channel. Um, so far, I uploaded my first video yesterday and I'm filming this today on my lunch break just so that I have enough natural light because I just want to put a little bit of content out there for you guys. And I'm sorry for the yawning sounds you're gonna hear because that is Jupiter yawning constantly. She, she can't handle her life right now. So, I just wanted to talk to you today about my top five favorite foundations, but there's a twist. These are only drugstore foundations. Um, there is not a high-end foundation in here. I feel like the drugstore has totally been like amping up their foundation game, and that is so awesome for like any of you girls who don't want to spend the money, don't have the money to spend, but you still want to look flawless and fabulous, you can do that. You can do that. So, I don't know if I'm getting a glare off my glasses, so if I am, I will take them off for the next video, but for now, they're on my face. We're gonna have to deal with them. We're gonna have to deal with my four eyes for this video. Um, okay, so I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I'm just gonna start talking. And a few of these you've probably already heard me talk about if you follow me on Instagram or on my blog. But if you don't, these might be some new things for you and for you to check out. All right, so number one, we've got this guy here. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Demi Matte Finish Air Light Oil Free 24 Hour Foundation. Oh my gosh, what a mouthful. Mouthful, not mouthful, mouthful. Um, this stuff is the bomb.com. If you want something, this works on my skin and I have um, normal combo skin that's dry. Uh, it works on my skin. It doesn't stick to any of my dry patches. It doesn't like cake up around my nose, which, which is what my usual issue is. Um, I like to apply this with my sponge, either my Real Techniques Beauty Blender or my Japanesque sponge. Any of those three I find work great. But I've heard L'Oreal, it's like the brand itself has an awesome sponge that Casey Holmes has been using on her channel. Casey Holmes has been using on her channel and I just am dying for it. I need to go and buy that because if it's a dupe for any of these sponges I pay more money for, I'm totally down to try it. So this is definitely a long wearing foundation. I wouldn't say it's 24 hours. I would say I can wear it to work, come back at the end of the day and it still looks good to me. Um, I definitely do make sure to set this. It does dry down, dry down to more of like a satin matte finish but not a complete matte finish. If you have oily skin, you'd probably really like this. I have not tried the one that's the Pro Glow one yet though. So if you have super dry skin, that one might be something you would wanna try. The only thing with this is it is a little pricey for a drugstore foundation. It is usually around the $20, 15 to $20 range in Canada. But for the, for the product in here, I totally recommend it. So there's that, that's my first one. And sorry, I literally just had to go take my lunch off the stove. That is how dedicated I am to you right now. I'm doing this instead of eating my pierogies. Pretty much, I just have to let them cool down before I like shove them into my mouth. So there's that, there's that. But no, I love you. I love you more than pierogies. It's not true, it's a lie. Just kidding, let's go right back in. These are, I kind of feel guilty for mentioning this for my Canadian viewers because you can't, I can't find these anywhere in Canada. These are the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundations. Um, the main claim on these guys is that there's no white cast if you're taking flash photography for these. Um, I have not tested that out personally, but I love, love, love how these wear. This is pretty much my everyday foundation currently. I wear it a ton. I'm super, super in love with it. Um, it is what I'm wearing on my face today. I'm wearing the buff, buff bisque shade, but I do also have rose ivory and I kind of mix them together. Rose ivory has a, a an intense pink undertone and I'm a little bit more neutral to an olive greenish complexion but it works to just kind of diffuse this one um, one thing I do want to mention about this is they have an awesome shade range so anybody can try this foundation and it's not too expensive to buy two and mix them together like I did like this is still under $12 these were $5.99 each and I picked them up at CVS. Um, the applicator here is just this uh, wand, so that's how that looks. I don't mind it, it's pretty easy to dot it on your face and I would say this is probably a medium coverage foundation. It doesn't cake up around my nose. Again, that's probably my biggest issue that I have with any foundations is my nose gets really dry and in these crevices it's get, it kind of cracks and gets cakey. 
um, which I hate that look, but I always set my foundations in between each step with a setting spray. I use the Urban Decay, um, this is the All Nighter one. Uh, I also have the D-Slick one for the summer because it just kind of combats grease and stuff. So those are good options if you do find you have that problem with like cakey looking makeup, even when you're not applying too, too much. But this stuff's awesome. It's cruelty free. I did just do a blog pro, can't even talk, a blog post on cruelty free makeup. So these are definitely, Wet n Wild is a great brand to check out. They've totally been upping their game. And if you're looking for just an everyday medium buildable coverage foundation that's going to last, this is gonna be the one for you. Okay, what do we wanna do next? This one maybe? This one's kind of boring. Honestly, this is just, this is a good foundation, but it's been talked about so much that like me talking to you about it is just kinda like, ugh, another one. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily Foundation. This stuff is really, really good. I like it more so in the summer, not so much in the winter. It does kind of cling a little bit, a tiny, tiny bit to my dry spots, but they do have one that is made for, I think, normal or dry skin, but I just have the Normal to Oily. I don't know why I have this one. Um, my one issue with this foundation is it can cake up around my nose. Um, Whereas the first two, how I said they don't do that, this one does do that. So I just apply it with a really light hand if I'm going anywhere into my nose. Make sure that I'm using a sponge tip that has a pretty precise um, area to get in to smooth that area out. Um, I would say this is a pretty long wearing foundation though. It doesn't break up quickly on my skin at all. And you get like the only... Okay. The only things I don't like are the fact that it cakes up around my nose and this applicator. Like, there's no applicator. It's just one of those foundations that pours out. I don't like that. I wish, wish, wish this had a pump. So, those are my two things with this. But if you want, if you have oily skin, this will be your best friend. You probably won't cake up around your nose because it only does that because I have dry spots. But other than that, if yeah, I would try this out. But one more second because Jupiter has to pee. That's for last as well. Um, so next up is this is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Oil Free Foundation. This one I want to include because this is, it doesn't have any of those huge claims like the no flashback for the Wet n Wild or the Pro Matte for the L'Oreal or the Matte and Poreless for the Fit Me. This is literally just a flawless natural finish looking foundation. It is perfect if you have normal skin, you don't have a ton of stuff going on, you want something that's just going to look like your skin but better, keep it natural, everything like that. This is going to be the foundation for you. Um, it's oil free so if you do have a little bit, if your skin's a little bit more on the oily side, this isn't going to, isn't going to like break you out or anything like that. Um, let's see what the back says. It says it doesn't clog pores. I will attest to that. It's a pretty thin foundation, but it does dry more of a satin finish, I would say. So if you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty light on me right now, but it's more of a satin matte finish, I would say, versus a glowy, dewy finish. Um, but let's see. And it reduces shine all day. So yeah, this is kind of the same thing. It's a more of a mattifying one. So if you just want a nice neutral thing and you can just put some bronzer on your face to liven it up after this, this is totally bomb. And it's I think it's like $7. So I would check that out. I don't mind the packaging of the Squeezy 2 ones. That's kind of pretty standard for drugstore, I find. And I find it's way better than just like the open bottle that you're pouring out because you're usually getting way too much product or dipping in there and it's just not sanitary. Okay, last but not least, this one I have loved for, I think I discovered this back in November, maybe December, and it has been in my like rotation since then. I adore it. I want to mention it today just to tell you how good it is. It's the e.l.f. Moisturizing Foundation Stick, but it it only has three colors. There's only three colors in the range. It's such a stupid, stupid color range. I don't understand how is anybody gonna, how is the whole world gonna fit specifically into three colors? I don't know. This is the shade I'm in. This is natural and it's the medium one. So I think I'm pretty light. I would almost say I would usually go for the light tone, but I'm the second darkest in this. And then the darkest, I'm not even sure what it is. If you can fit 
if you do match surprisingly one of the shades for this this is an awesome foundation i just put it all over my face swipe it on and then i take my it cosmetics this guy right here this is the it cosmetics airbrush foundation brush and it's just a super de dense foundation brush and i use that to buff it in and it looks flawless it is really really moisturizing if i leave this on for like from morning till midnight I do look borderline greasy it's so moisturizing I don't even I can't get like capture it on camera for you but if you can see it is a slick foundation so I would kind of suggest this if you have lots of dry patches if your skin is you could probably play with it if your skin is normal or normal combo dry or dry um, I would not go with this if you're normal like combo with oily or oily at all just because this is a borderline oily foundation um it's six dollars I think it's five or six dollars but other than that this this foundation I love it I can use it on my face and I find if I have dry patches it moisturizes them throughout the day this will kind of cake up and gunk up around my nose but I think that's just because I apply it with a brush um I, but I don't like the way stick foundations apply to my face with a sponge at all so that's just me personally but this is a bomb foundation for the price for the drugstore it's lit it's so lit you guys um but that makes five that makes five foundations that i truly truly love and use on a monthly basis all of this stuff is in my rotation at least once a month once every few weeks um i only have one face so I have an excessive amount of foundations, <laughs> but yeah, and I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any suggestions for similar videos like this in the future, um, I kind of am thinking of doing my top five high-end foundations. Uh, let me know if you would be interested in that, but that is everything for me today, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your afternoon, and the weekend, I guess, is coming up, so... I will be totally making more videos then. I do work this Saturday, but I have the Sunday off, so a full day of filming for me, and that's everything I have to say today, and bye babes!